when it comes to the 11 plus exams, one of the papers that many children tend to struggle with completing has got to be the English paper. Oh yes, the English paper can often be the bane of so many students' lives. And is it any wonder? Young people are generally not reading anywhere near as much as their previous generations did. Quite often, they're not reading as much as their parents did. If they have older siblings, they're probably not reading as much as the older siblings. And yes, you remember when we had the lockdown, many children got into the habit of not reading. And so the speed of their reading has greatly reduced. And so some students actually try to take some very dodgy shortcuts, very dodgy shortcuts, because they think they can finish the English paper without reading the passages. They can just read the answers and look for the, for the paragraph, the sentences that are relating to that question and that they'll be fine. And then some students are taught to skim read and that reading for understanding is not important. Now, if your child ever tells you that they have a tutor or a teacher who tells them that they shouldn't read the comprehension passage, that they should just skim read, get them as far away from that individual as possible because what they are teaching your child is detrimental to their success. I repeat, run like you are in a race. And oh, on that note, I have got an acronym that you can use to help you remember how to approach English questions, the English paper in general. And guess what the acronym is? RACE. That's right. R-A-C-E. So before we carry on with this amazing video, please remember to like this video, subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications so that you will get notified every time a new Geek School video goes up. Enjoy! And I'm going to break that down. So whenever we are working on English comprehension, the English paper, the first thing we want to do is to read through the passage, okay? I'll read through the passage, make sure you have a good understanding of what you've read before you start answering any questions. Then uh, we're always going to use a particular method once we've read through the passage and we are reading and answering the questions. We are going to always double check in the passage to make sure that the answers that we think are correct are actually correct. In other words, we're going to look for the evidence in the passage that proves the answer we want to choose for our multiple choice answers. And for those of you who will end up doing a stage two exam where you have to write and explain, uh, you definitely need that for your quotes as well. And for those of you who will be doing the independent school entrance exams, you will definitely need to quote at some point. Um, the very basic, the very least, you definitely need to go back into the passage and look for where you found the answers. Then we are going to consider all the choices when it comes to multiple choice exam papers. OK, English papers that are multiple choice based are known for providing similar type of. Um, so you may get two or three options that are similar. You may also be given uh, an answer that sounds similar, but they've probably just tweaked or changed a particular fact. Now, for students who are not reading through the passages, this is where they start to lose marks because, of course, when you have part of the answer that sounds right and you don't have that depth of understanding because you didn't read through the passage, it's easy to choose the wrong answer. So C is for consider all choices. Don't just rush and choose a, B, C, D or E, make sure you've actually thought through the choices and 
choose the right answer basically and then finally eliminate and guess so eliminate the answer so that you end up with the right answer uh, means you've checked through the passage um, make sure that the actually correct in terms of the question that you're answering okay for instance if you're being asked why did john um his bag at home you could perhaps write that you know he found something a treasure um i didn't want to lose it at school or something like that or he rushed out because his mum was telling him to hurry up and he forgot his bag so you would have checked in the passage to make sure that you're choosing the right option and then e is for eliminate and guess so if you get stuck between a couple of options because you've eliminated the answers then you would make a sensible guess okay leave the question unanswered it's better to make a sensible guess and be in with the chance of getting a mark than to leave the question blank and not get any marks at all so the acronym for completing your english paper for the 11 plus exam is race read the passage first do not answer anything until you've read the passage first a always double check in the passage before you select your answer C, consider all choices with the list of answers, okay? Then E, eliminate and guess. Eliminate the answer, don't just pick an answer. And then, of course, guess if you're um, if shortlisted, maybe two, uh, you're not 100% sure, just make a sensible guess so that you are in with a chance of actually getting a mark. Thanks for watching. Do you need help with your writing? Don't forget to check out Geek School Tutoring's online writing courses at www.the11plusessay.co.uk. We have everything from creative writing courses to English comprehension courses and English grammar and punctuation courses, just to name a few. Remember to like, comment and subscribe to our channel and to switch on your notifications so you know when our next video goes up. Bye.